hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to this week's vlog, which is the thriller vlog, it is the final vlog of the spooky season. <laughs> So as I was saying before, it is Thrillers week, and I'm sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background. It is Monday, and it's been a day. Uh, we had an oil change this morning, and so I went and I sat in a cafe, and I did some reading, and that was really nice. So I was there for a few hours, and uh, we actually got our next COVID booster shot, as well as our flu shot yesterday at a very fun event that we went to. It was completely unexpected, but because of that, we're kind of feeling a little tired. Our joints are kind of creakily. I did not sleep well last night. I haven't slept well in the past couple of days. It's, it's a bummer. I have a few books that I do want to get to this week. I have three here, but I feel like there was another one that I wanted to get to. But I can't see it, so I can't remember it. But so for sure, I want to try and get to the group book, Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. I have not read an Alice Feeney thriller. I believe this is like an on the island kind of, not a quarantine thriller, but like they're all on an island together. So it is like close proximity with no way out kind of quarantine thriller. So I'm very excited for this one because I think that is a thriller trope that I'm learning. That I really like. And then I have The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. I enjoyed One by One by Ruth Ware, so I look forward to reading this. I picked it up at a $1 library event in Milwaukee this past spring, so it's nice that it's a book that I had already owned and now I can finally read and hopefully get it off my TBR. The other book I have here is In a Dark Dark Wood, also by Ruth Ware. Again, uh, I enjoyed her other book, so hopefully I will enjoy this one as well. Yeah, those are the thrillers that I can see. I'm sure I have another thriller or two on audio that I'm just not thinking of. But the other thing is, is that if you've been watching my previous vlogs, you know that there are some books that I just didn't get to. You know, that happens. Such is life, c'est la vie. Oh well, if possible, which it's not going to be possible, I would love to start to get into some of the books that I didn't get to read during those other weeks. I've got a... I've actually got two vampire books that I had wanted to get for the vampire week because I only had like one vampire book and then they just didn't come in on time but now they're here so I want to read like two more vampire books, I want to read A Dark Academia, and I've got like six witchy books that I would love to read so I, I'm definitely going to read at least one thriller, at least a group book, but then depending on how I feel about these other ones, because they are kind of older, and I'm not sure if I would really like older thrillers, I mean they're not like that old, but still, then I might allow myself to switch up and read to something else, because I am, I feel like I'm on the verge of entering a reading slump. Or getting back into reading like I'm kind of teetering on the edge so I don't want to be too strict with my TBR as I am a mood reader so if I force myself to read something I'm not into I'm probably not gonna read for the next two to three weeks so that's kind of the feeling that I have I'm gonna do some reading today I've done all of my cleaning chores um, but yeah, I just don't know how the rest of today is going to go. I'm going to have to pick up my partner from school and he's not feeling super well. Um, I also really want to listen to audiobooks so I can finish my, uh, crochet project. <laughs> I've been getting really back into crochet recently, so I want to focus on that, listen to audiobooks and focus on that. I've also been thinking a lot about my November TBR, all the books that I want to read. So like November is still part of fall, so I've kind of, as I've been thinking about my November TBR, because it's almost here, I've just been looking back on what are all the autumn reads that I wanted to read and didn't get to because September and October were very spooky specific reads. So I, my November TBR is going to be huge and I really don't want to get into a slump before that because I really want to try and get through as many of them as possible so yeah it's gonna be interesting it's it's definitely interesting but I also know November I'm gonna start looking for winter and holiday reads as well so it's just kind of a mess I feel like I just want to sit and read like four books 
right now just kind of like go through and have them read and like experience them and know the stories already so it's interesting anyway that's it for this intro clip hopefully it's just gonna be a very like reading focused slightly boring day but who knows anyway i'll catch up with you later it is sunday night and sunday night it is monday night i decided to start the woman in cabin 10 by ruth ware first this is the book that I have the audio and the physical for, and it's the oldest one on my TBR, so I wanted to get it done first, or at least start it now. Um, I like it so far. It's a very interesting beginning, because I knew that it took place on a cruise ship, but it actually starts with her apartment getting broken into, which was a very interesting touch, and I'm curious to see if that ties into the story later, or if that was just a beginning hook. But... Yeah, this is where I'm at, and I'll pick it up tomorrow. Alright, it is Tuesday morning, and I am still like five chapters into this. There is a lot of setup before it gets too spooky, but I hope it picks up quickly. But yeah, I'm going to go to work. This is a very, very short update. It was a very interesting beginning. I am still kind of like... I want this to get better. I'm not super thrilled with our characters, but I am very intrigued by this setting. So, yeah, I just thought I'd do just a little update there. Hopefully I can make a lot of progress on it tonight. The huge goal I have for tonight is to edit everything because I've got two vlogs and a video that was supposed to go up this past week and a half and I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna edit those, read that, Hopefully, I would love to get The Woman in Cabin 10 done by Wednesday so that I can start the group book, Daisy Darker, um, and have that read before the weekend and then hopefully read at least one more thriller before Halloween. But that is the goal. Let's do this. Alright, it is Tuesday night and I haven't done any reading, but I got a lot of other things done. I gave my partner a haircut, I cleaned everything, it's all clean now. So hopefully this means that I can now prioritize some of my more favorite activities like reading and editing now that the space is clean. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I also have just not been getting a good night's sleep for the past like four days, so that's been really difficult for me and my energy levels to do things I enjoy. So, there you go. Good night. All right. It's Halloween. Kind of. It is. It is Saturday night and we have our haunted masquerade party that we are hosting. Hence mask and outfit. I am, I am Lady Midnight. This thing, I love this thing so much. And Brennan is my, my partner, the butler, and uh, <laughs> uh, I am about to be murdered in our murder mystery event when people get here. So yeah, we're so excited. Look at this food, y'all. Like, excuse the AC, but like, we've got a pumpkin cauldron, we got one of those, charcuterie, we got sangria, we have... Ooh, Skull donuts. We've got even more food too for when like stuff runs out. Um, fresh but brie. yeah, fresh brie. And yeah, and then we'll have cocktails, signature Halloween cocktails on demand. Excuse the AC, it's gonna get so hot in here with all these people. So, yeah. We are so excited. I'm a koala. It's Sunday morning and I am going, I have been cleaning up a little bit and I still have a lot more to go, but I have some bookish updates for you. The book is over there. Okay, so bookish update number one. I finished The Woman in Cabin 10. I'm giving this three out of five stars. The ending, I'm conflicted about. Because, like, the ending did what it was supposed to, where, like, we got our answers, this and this happened. But, I mean, 
I also just didn't care. It ended up kind of being like a trope ending that I just didn't end up caring for very much. But I loved the I liked the characters. I really just loved the background and how it was on a uh, cruise line going through like Sweden and Denmark and Norway to see the Northern Lights. Um, that was probably the coolest part about all this and I would love to go on that boat. But I also think it's very clear that this was one of Ruth Ware's earlier books because I think the writing just isn't quite there yet. It was extremely repetitive and uh, there were just elements to it that I was like, yes, I get it, move on already, stop bringing this up or stop doing this. and So it just felt a little long and repetitive in that way. Um, but I think her writing has definitely gotten better uh, from this one to like one by one. So, which it does make me a little nervous to read in a dark, dark wood because it's an even older one than this one. So we'll see what the writing is like, but at least I'm prepared. Um, so yeah, I finished this one, so that's 25 points. Um, and then I ended up reading Garlic and the Vampire, which doesn't get me any points. I didn't read it for my uh, Spooky Season Spectacular because it's not Vampire Week. So I don't get anything for it, um, but it was adorable and I loved it. And I just wanted to mention that I read it. Now, I've started reading, reading Daisy Darker. I took the dust jacket off um, because I don't want to hurt it. Actually, here, the dust jacket's right here. I, I didn't used to take dust jackets off when I read books, but now I do. Um, so I started reading this. I'm one chapter in. I'm like 10 pages in. There's so much background noise going, but that's just how vlogs are going to have to go. Anyway, this one is intriguing because it's isolation and it's multiple murder and family secrets. So this, I'm going to try and read this today. I do have plans today. And I have to like clean up after the party, but for some reason I still think that I can read this today. So we're gonna see how it goes, but this is the group book and I really do want to read it. Also this is going through Monday, so because they're, I think I've been doing it wrong, um, because it's Halloween tomorrow, I'm gonna include it as part of the week, or you know I'm gonna continue reading spooky things on Halloween and it would continue to count. So it's kind of like an extra bonus day. Today is not the last day of the spectacular. Tomorrow is. So hopefully I'll finish this book either today or tomorrow. And yeah. And I cannot believe that after tomorrow it's November. I've been thinking about like everything leading up to Halloween. And then when Halloween is done it's like oh my word. Then there are so many November things that I need to like pay attention to. So it's been a time. But that's my reading update. Um, I will also be listening to audiobooks when I clean. Unfortunately, I do not have Daisy Darker on audiobook, which is a bummer, but oh well, what can you do? Especially because like I got, I put audiobooks on hold for different themes of the week and then they didn't come on time, but now they're all coming. So November is probably gonna start off with the remains of the spooky reads, which is not a problem, but I do have a whole other huge November TBR. So, eh. anyway, that's it for this update. I will probably catch you all later, but first, leftover charcuterie board for breakfast, and the last little dregs of the bloody sangria for breakfast. Happy Halloween! Woo! Hello, y'all. It's Halloween. It's Monday. It's the last day for this vlog and for reading and spooky season and all those good things. And I am so conflicted. So <laughs> I so I finally got one vlog up and running and I'm working on doing some of the other editing for the other vlogs because I really want to catch up and get all these spooky videos out before spooky season is too over. I don't want to think about it being over. But the other thing is that our TV is not working, so I can't watch anything spooky like I really wanted to. Because I, I just really wanted to watch some spooky things today as I am home and alone on Halloween. We, as I mentioned before, already had our Halloween party, so that kind of felt more like Halloween night than tonight. But 
we'll see. Hopefully, when Brennan comes home, he can fix the TV and I can watch, like, Halloween Town or something uh, to kind of celebrate. Again, there is plenty of candy in this household, so there's no shortage of that. Um, but yeah, I've got my spooky and my vampire bat sweater on and I've got my Halloween fuzzy socks so I'm doing what I can <laughs> and like I could read too I could read Daisy Darker and I do plan on reading but for some reason I just I want to get in the vibe while the sun is out so by the time it gets dark I like can really I don't know just celebrate I don't know how I'm gonna celebrate but I really want to maybe I'll do a thing on Instagram and say what are your ways of celebrating Halloween alone or not going out? Because <laughs> um, I have to work tomorrow, so I don't want to, like, go out and do anything crazy. But, c'est la vie. We'll see. What happens, happens. I'm just, I'm just happy it's Halloween and it's sunny and kind of warm, strangely enough. But, yeah, the apartment is, like, the cleanest it's ever been, and I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway, that's that's my update for now, but I, I might just end up posting two vlogs and then getting two more videos ready and just kind of using this as my as my day off to catch up on things. Halloween night is mostly what people go after anyway, right? Right? So if I just get my normal work done today, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's later. So I decided not to read Daisy Darker because I wasn't super into it but also well no I like the first couple of chapters I started it and I liked it but my audiobook for for the throne expires tomorrow while I'm at work and this is my second time waiting for a long time to get the audiobook and when I r tried to request it again it was like you're number 17 and I was like oh my word so I decided to focus on this for today I'm almost halfway through I'm hoping to finish it Hopefully, or at least get far enough that I can finish it physically, even if the audiobook does expire. And I mean, it's pretty dark. It's dark magic, so not too far off. Um, but for now, I've got apple cider in my trick-or-treat cup. I've got strudelwaffle, and I will be watching my favorite episode, Halloween episode of Psych. So, that's how I'm celebrating Halloween for now yeah just reading this book and watching a Halloween episode so since I'm not going to be reading anything more spooky for this reading vlog and it's kind of the end of the night it's like seven o'clock on Halloween I am going to close it off here thank you all very much for watching if you liked this give it a thumbs up let me know what you read on Halloween or leading up to Halloween or what your favorite spooky read was. Um, if you like bookish content, feel free to subscribe. I do post videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. I also have bookish social media linked down below that you can follow me there on and get all my bookish updates as I'm reading in real time. Until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.